Cracker, thanks for coming back. I'm a naturopath from New Zealand. I hope you're enjoying the channel. I've created now over 1600 videos for this channel. Um, it's going quite well and thanks for the great feedback. Now, a really interesting study about gut bacteria. Gut bacteria work in teams, new study finds. Here's why that's important for you. So what they're discovering now, which is no surprise at all, you know, with the new way of testing that we can do with, you know, with the gene testing we can do now, they can actually see how incredibly important the environment is um, of the microbiome, our bacteria in here, and our bloodstream. So I remember when I started practicing, they didn't really have the gene sequencing like they have got today. If they wanted to study the gut and bacteria in the digestive system, they had to do it in a lab by culturing samples in petri dishes. So they actually had to grow stool, you know, bacteria from stool to see the species and all that kind of business. But in some cases, some bacteria wouldn't even grow at all in these dishes. They knew there were bacteria in the gut, but they couldn't really pull that data through in the lab and understand, you know, the full extent. With the DNA, though, it's entirely different. So they can do DNA sequencing or DNA sampling now where they can immediately see a very wide variety of all the microbes in the gut. And they can also see their interactions and associations with other microbes in the gut and also outside the gut. So basically the microbes are responsible for your digestive metabolism, you know, and the human metabolism in general, the microbes play an incredibly important role. And in time, no doubt, thousands and thousands of pathways will be genetically discovered that will link many bacteria, specific bacteria, to certain types of illnesses, you know, that we develop, mainly through the lack of those bacteria. So research is showing that the more biodiverse the gut is, the more, the more powerful the human organism is, and the more have a strong ability to resist disease. People with a more narrow defined band of bacteria tend to have a harder time overcoming illness, get sick recurrently, and have a lot of health associated problems. I think this would explain why if you look at people living in the Amazon basin, for example, with you know four and a half, five thousand species of bacteria, they've got a far more robust health than someone living in New York City, probably with about a quarter of the microbiome, you know, that the person in the forest has got. So the interesting thing that I found was the relationship between the bloodstream and the microbes in the gut, how there's a very powerful communication being discovered between both of these systems. So whatever you eat has an extremely powerful influence, of course, not only on the bacteria, but what's happening in your bloodstream. So don't forget that when you eat crap, it influences your blood in a bad way. When you eat healthy food, it influences your blood in a positive way. And the blood being such an important, you know, uh, organ in the body, you want to keep the blood in really good shape all the time. And you'll do that by keeping your microbiome in top shape. And you'll achieve that by eating the right kind of food and living the right kind of life. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Well, not for some people, unfortunately. But I hope this video makes a difference for some people and explains that there's a very powerful relationship which will become significantly more evident over the years you know, between the bacteria in here and how they work together in harmony to provide a really powerful bloodstream for the human being, besides many other things that they do. So they work in teams, and it's no surprise. And if you look at the best companies in the world, and the best businesses, they work in teams. You look at the best families, they work in teams. Teamwork is where it's all at. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, if you want my free Candida report, click on the link in the description box. Thank you.